let's go to Revelation 13, 15 through 17. I actually just want to point out one aspect in verse 16. And I really don't want to get really deep in this. I just want to point something out. So let's go to verse 16 right quick. Okay. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their hand or in their foreheads. Now, we know that verse 16 is speaking about the mark of the beast, right? Okay. 17. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. So this is pretty much saying, or the aspect I want to grab from this, this is saying that you won't really be able to buy, you won't be able to do really anything if you don't take the mark of the beast, right? So let's say that right now you have money saved up. Let's say that you have 80,000, 100,000, 1 million, so on and so on. You have money saved up. You are buying gold and silver and all of these resources. Well, let's say that you have money saved up and you are buying gold, silver, copper, so on and so on. What do you believe is going to happen if you don't take the mark of the beast? Your money is not going to be worth anything, right? So if you don't take the mark of the beast, the money that you are saving up right now, let's say that they make you or say, hey, if you don't take the mark of the beast right now, someone is going to kill you. So if you choose not to take the mark, the mark of the beast, the money that you have saved up, the money that you have at your home, it is not going to be worth anything. So all those hours that you have worked, all that time, sweat, blood, tears, is gone out the window. So you may say, what is my point? We don't know when all of this is going to happen. Yes, they are trying to get people to take the mark of the beast now or that microchip in their hand some people say that is the mark of the beast there but we don't know when they are going to force everyone to get this chip right what I am trying to say take your money and it really makes no sense to me so many shows are telling you to buy gold and silver. What is that going to do for you if they say that if you don't take the mark of the beast, you can't buy or sell? So you can have all the gold. It is worthless if you don't have that chip, that mark of the beast. So take your money now and do things for God with it. If you want to go to heaven, if you are going to fight against the system and not take the chip, you want to go to heaven, right? The only things when we serve God, when we are doing things for people, God is going to reward us for that, not only in heaven, but on earth as well, because you are going to reap whatever you sow. Why continue to save that money when it is going to be worthless? 
unless you plan on taking that chip. Now, if you take the chip, everything that you have saved, you can keep. But if you don't plan on taking the mark of the beast, everything that you have made is going to be taken. So you want to go to heaven, right? Since you are not going to take the chip, use that money not only for yourself, but for other people. Saving it is like the worst thing to do. <laughs> I'm serious. Saving your money right now is like the worst thing to do if you don't plan to take the chip. I pray that this makes sense. Use your money to help out poor people. Use your money and pass out Bibles to people. Use your money and do things for God with your money while you have the chance. It is better to use it now than to lose it unless you plan on taking the mark of the beast, which is foolish if you think about it. I pray that this makes sense. I know your grandparents or your parents may have told you to save your money until you are really old, blah, 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 blah. No. <laughs> we are in a different age now. So, you can pretty much do whatever you want to do. I just wanted to point out one aspect to verse 16 and 17. Because if you don't take the mark, you can't buy, you can't sell, you can't really do anything. So even if you have all your cash, cash sitting at your home, if they put in a new form of money, or a way to buy and stuff like that. How can you use your cash? You won't be able to, right? So you can buy all the silver, all the gold that you want to. It is worthless if you can only buy with a chip in your hand. Make sense? Stop saving money. Help people with your money. Because the only things you do in Christ will last. Everything else that you do for yourself is not going to last long. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless.